Hello everyone! Today I wanted to talk about Zenla Zone Zero. This game has been out for about 10 days now, and I've seen a lot of videos about it, and I feel like I would like to give my opinion on this game. First, let's talk about the characters. These characters are amazingly designed, to be honest with you. I like nearly all of them. I like how they're related by faction. I feel like that adds a lot to the characters and makes them more interesting and interact with each other better. Because they're designed to interact with each other, like the Victoria Housekeepers, for example, it makes them bounce off each other really well. And like, say, with Corn and Lycan's interaction when she drops her saw blade in the story, that shows how well the faction idea works with this. Another example with Corn, even though it's not related to the faction thing, is Corn and Nekomata's first meeting. I feel like this meeting helps encapsulate how good the writing can be. It's funny, it's cute, and the animation is just perfect, which is a point we'll talk on later. Uh, it was really great, especially when these characters are in the same faction, it makes that even better. And then you have their character designs. Holy crap, they are really good. Out of the characters we have, Ellen and Grace are probably my favorite designs. Uh, especially Ellen. I really like her design a lot. She is a maid shark girl, which is very cool. What is not to love about that? And we all know why people like Grace's design, but every character has an amazing design. But I do also have to mention their C6 pictures. God damn, that's insane. I can't hate most of the characters' designs. The only ones I'm not the hugest fan of are Ben and Piper. And I like Ben's personality, but just not my design. These characters are just so well designed in their personalities. They're very amazing. For example, Anton and Lycan have grown on me a lot because their personalities in the story and they're just plain cool as hell. But most of these characters are in the story at least a little bit. And they all have very interesting personalities. And that makes me want to build all these characters. But, you know what else makes me want to build the characters? Their gameplay. ZZZ is a really fun game, honestly. Each character has their base stats, basic attacks, skills, ults, assist attacks, and dodge attacks. These can all be leveled along with your core skills. These are vital to building your characters to have a good... You have to get these chips to level up these skills. These chips you can get through domain runs. It changes based on the element of the character. And last, we have Wengens and the artifacts of the game. W Engines are the character's weapons. Each ones are different, and for each class of the characters, they can use specific Wengens. And the artifact system is the artifact system. <laughs> You can use your skills after building up enough energy that you can see up in the top left. Each character has a different skill. You get your ult by hitting 3,000 points. Then one character can use this ult. This isn't much of a problem because your assist attacks also count as ultimates. You can also dodge and parry enemy attacks. The red light from the enemy means to dodge it, and the white light from an enemy means to parry it. You cannot parry the red light ones. You, These are fun mechanics, except for some circumstances. And then the characters also feel really nice to play. Personally, I really like Anton, Ellen, and Corin. Corin and Anton's multi-hit attacks feel really nice to hit, and do a lot of damage, surprisingly. If you like more complex characters, Soldier 11 does more damage based on your timing with her attacks and how you play her, and she's more of a complicated one. Ellen is not as complicated, but still can have some depth to her character. For each dash, for holding her dash attacks, you get stacks, and also for her skills. These stacks infuse her weapons for her attacks, for a certain amount of attacks. I honestly think that ZZZ is a phenomenal game, to be honest. I think it's better than Genshin, although I do love Genshin, don't get me wrong, I'm not a Genshin hater, I don't hate all the other gachas, but ZZZ is just so good, everything about it, it's gonna be harder, clearly. 
uh, it's going to get a lot harder. Um, people are starting to realize that it is going to be a hard game, and you can already see it. Um, I am adventure rank 37, and I've, I've played it a lot, you know, and I really enjoy it. I'm excited for the next characters that are coming out. Uh, I'm excited to see where the game goes. You know, I think it has a lot of potential and could make a lot of money. I hope other people also like the game because it is a really fun experience. And I really feel like people would like this game. Uh, if you haven't checked out ZZZ, I would say give it a shot. If you like Genshin, you like Honkai Star Rail, you like Wuthering Waves, all that, I would say give it a shot. I think it is a fun game and like just like everything about it the characters are so well written the story is not even that bad to be honest it's a little confusing but like the characters in the story are so fucking nice you know i like all of them like every character is something interesting and even then meta wise so far none of them are that bad even corn and billy who are considered the worst i make them work pretty fucking well you know uh and i think that people will realize more we'll get more characters um and it will change more but i think this game is heading in a very good direction my final thoughts are i like ZZZ a lot and i really hope it succeeds and keeps getting better. That was it for me. Bye, guys.